Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, organizers. So I'm very happy to be here and give a talk. Um, I'm Masatoshi. I come from Japan. Um, actually, I got a PhD uh, in March of this year. Uh, but now I'm postdoc of uh, Kyoto University. And, and next month, I will be postdoc at Heidelberg University. OK. And today, I'd like to talk about uh, a so-called hierarchy program. Um, unfortunately, in my talk, I could not give uh, some nice solution for the uh, hierarchy program. But some, I want to give uh, some indications towards solving hierarchy program, actually, and within the uh, asymptotically safe gravity. Now, and this talk uh, is based on the collaboration with my colleagues. And Kenya Oda and uh, Yuta Hamada. Okay, okay, let's go to the introduction. Okay, um, first run of IRC gave a, a discovery of Higgs boson with 125 GB, and uh, actually it's very famous figure. And this this axis is a particle mass and the coupling to Higgs. And this black dot is uh, experimental data. And we see that uh, all data uh, are put on the one line, uh, which means um, actually Higgs gives the mass for each particle. Even, uh, I mean, uh, despite is we have long hierarchy of mass. So actually Higgs, uh, the standard model will describe that his physics up to up to table scale. But, um, okay, but we know that nothing else. I mean, no new particle <laughs> appears yet. Actually, we have, uh, you know, that Diphoton Olympic, I call it Diphoton Olympic, was held, and, but already finished. And up to, uh, up to its uh, new data uh, came to, um, at, in the last, Months and it uh, the photon uh, exists already vanished, and but uh, we have uh, many many papers and in uh, many papers appeared in the archive, and now I show the winners of this this Olympic, and actually it's a it's a number of a paper and a number of a citation, actually he is my friend, <laughs> but um, recently and um, seventy maybe particle, it's not LHC data, uh, may be found. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. It, it, this particle is uh, uh, elementary particle or not. But if you have an interesting, please see this paper. But anyway, uh, at least a standard model is very perfect up to the TV scale. Then, but we have uh, some main, you know that there are many, many mysteries. So why Newton has a mass, finite, finite mass, but very tiny mass? And so what is the dark matter? So why, how to generate the baryon number? And also we have many, many problems. So now at present, um, what can we do in study of uh, elementary particle physics? And also, how to approach to them? It's it's a, our task to solve uh, this this program. Okay, this is my purpose of study. But I, I know that quantum gravity must be, uh, must be must exist because actually we feel we always feel the gravitational effect in macro macro scale. And uh, so asymptotically safe gravity is one of the possible candidates. So using this approach, so let's attack to the hierarchy program. So, and then I want, to, I want to establish a new paradigm. For example, do you have uh, some new symmetry or new principle? So this is my purpose of study. Okay, I show the pr my plan. Okay, first, I visit the hierarchy program. 
So I, I review the, what is the hierarchy program. And next, I, I will explain the um, idea of asymptotically safe gravity. But we have already many, many good talks about uh, asymptotically safe gravity. So I will briefly summarize. And then uh, I, I would like to explain my study. Uh, actually, it's a higgs yukawa model, non-memory coupled to Higgs gravity. OK. OK. Hierarchy program is a very famous program in elemental particles. So maybe I think you know that. But let's start to with uh, renormalized Higgs mass. And renormalized Higgs mass is given by this form. And we have uh, some bare mass. And actually, it's, uh, we have uh, some co uh, loop collection. And one loop integral given by this form. And actually, we have uh, lambda square, so-called quadratic divergence. So a linearized mass is given by uh, the bare mass plus uh, quadratic, quadratic divergence. So if we assume that a uh, standard model is valid for uh, Planck scale, so lambda uh, corresponds to Planck scale. Planck scale is uh, 10 to 90 GB. Therefore, uh, but now we know that Higgs mass is uh, order 10, 10 square GB. Therefore, and this equation said that, so bare mass and uh, quadratic divergence should be canceled out, and then we have to have a small Higgs mass. Which means uh, so we have a large hierarchy between the denormalized mass and the bare mass. Uh, it's a hierarchy program. So we also call the fine tuning program because we have to fine tune between the bare mass and the quadratic, term, quadratic divergence term. <coughs> okay. Okay, next, let's consider this program in viewpoint of Wilson RG. First, we start with uh, this simple action scalar theory. And I show that uh, here. Uh, it's a phase diagram of this scalar theory. And OK, this fat line corresponds to the phase boundary or critical line. And because if you put the bare parameter uh, left, left hand side, so must go to the negative region, which is a, a broken phase. Um, on the other hand, if you put uh, this right hand side, uh, must go to the positive. It's a symmetric phase. And also, if we put exactly a bare parameter on the, this line, uh, average flow go to the Gaussian fixed point. Therefore, it's a massless, correspond to massless theory or critical theory. So important, very crucial point is uh, this line is uh, given by this form. OK, uh, dimensionless mass equals some, uh, some coupling constant, quadratic coupling constant. So please keep in mind this form. So if you put the, some bare parameter, uh, some little bit far from uh, phase, phase boundary, so mass go to the become very large. And then final normalized mass is given by this form. And now we assume that, so, and this quality coupling is uh, almost constant in the flow. Okay. If you put the bare mass, bare parameter on the, this phase boundary, mass go to the bare, uh, to uh, mass because uh, we have uh, this, this relation, so, and this bare parameter satisfied this form. Therefore, uh, this relation vanish. This is correspond to the massless theory or a critical theory. OK, I repeat my, my explanation. Um, anyway, lambda square 
quadratic divergence determine the position of the phase boundary. This, this phase boundary. And the phase boundary corresponds to the massless or critical theory. Therefore, hierarchical programming is, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, change the, if you say the other word, uh, to obtain the small mass, small renormalized mass, uh, we have to put the bare parameter very, very close to the phase boundary. This is a fine, fine, uh, hierarchical program in view of Wilson RG. So it's like this. Now, I want to say that hierarchy program is a critical program. Why Higgs is so close to the critical line? So we have uh, some two phase, and uh, actually, so Higgs, Higgs uh, land uh, very near to the boundary. Once you put around here, my Higgs has to go to the very large region. So we can say the Higgs problem is a critical problem. So. Now, I have a comment. Um, I have a very uh, controversial discussion here, which is, uh, I mean, lambda square is spurious or not. Because now, I, as, as I said, the position of phase boundary is given by lambda square. But now, this boundary is strongly depend on the cutoff scheme. Ah, sorry, I, I, I forgot to explain. Now we have number uh, C. Uh, C is uh, some constant which depends on some uh, renormalized scheme. So because so, if you change the renormalized scheme, this position of phase boundary is moved. Therefore, I guess such a value is not <laughs> physically no meaning meaningless. But uh, distance between the flow and between the boundary, and flow, uh, flow and the boundary is physically meaningful. Um, actually, in perturbation theory, uh, quadratic divergence is always subtracted by the counter term. Or if you use a dimensional regularization, so quadratic divergence automatically di uh, subtracted. Um, this corresponds to the uh, rotation of the coordinate because uh, we have uh, this, this uh, phase diagram, but we can rotate the theoretical space and then we bring this phase boundary to the, this, co this line. Okay, which means uh, C called zero line and just uh, some vertical line. Then this, this relation boundary condition change to this form. If you believe this discussion, hierarchy problem is a bare theory of Higgs is almost scale invariant or conformal invariant. If you believe the A, A theorem, we can say also conformal invariant. Okay. If we put bare mass zero, uh, renormalized mass is always zero because uh, critical line given by this line. So once you put here, uh, RG flow go to the, this line. It's a vanishing renormalized mass. And actually, and so we also see this, this, this uh, learning uh, in the perturbation theory of uh, learning of uh, M square. Actually, it's, it's a perturbation, a, a perturbative RG equation. And beta function uh, is a proportional to mass square itself. So once you put the mass equal zero, so mass does not run. Therefore, mass does not generate. It's, a, it's a consistent with this, uh, this described nation. So, this uh, put and bare mass equal zero is the idea of a classical scale invariance. And if you import the classical scale invariance, a standard model become a scale-less theory. So in that case, we have to explain 
how to generate the scale uh, related to the uh, electroweak cell, uh, weak vacuum. So to, do, to this end, uh, we have to use uh, some dimensional transmutation, uh, which is so-called the Coleman-Weinbach mechanism, or dynamic symmetry breaking, such as uh, QCD, uh, with step scale. This is uh, one of the extension of the standard model in phenomenology. Okay, it's a comment. Okay, now here I'd like to sum, uh, summarize so far, summarize so far, and now I want to emphasize that hierarchy program is a critical program, criticality program. Why Higgs is close to the critical line? Um, but now I, 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 we discuss that uh, lambda square is physically meaningful or not. So if you believe the classical scale invariance, so this is one of the solutions of the hierarchy problem. Uh, but I think it's, this idea is a cru uh, have a crucial problem. Because uh, this, idea, this idea does not include a gravitational effect. Therefore, we have to discuss this idea within the gravitational effect. Okay, so next, I will direct the next, next part. So I, I explain the asymptotically safe gravity. But uh, we have already many good talk, so I, I will briefly summarize. Okay, this idea was suggested by the Steven Weinberg. And crucial point is the existence of the UV fixed point. If you have a such a UV fixed point, so we can take a continuum, continuum limit, and we can define the UV critical surface, uh, which corresponds to the UV complete cell is defined by the relevant operator. So its dimension, a critical surface dimension, corresponds to the number of free parameters. Number of free parameters is a number of relevant operators. So uh, this idea is a generalization of the uh, asymptotical free. Well, it's uh, skippable, okay, <laughs> right? Anyway, it's RG flow is followed by this equation. <laughs> okay, now uh, actually it's uh, it's also <laughs> skippable, but uh, now I'd like to e explain a little bit because uh, this uh, definition of critical exponent is uh, depend on uh, each man. So I, I showed my 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 definition. So now critical exponent is a classification of the RG flow around the fixed point. Now uh, I, 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 I expand the beta function around the fixed point, and the first term is is vanished by definition. And so we remain only the, the uh, uh, linear term. So we can solve easily this equation. A solution becomes this form. Now here we have a theta. Theta is a eigenvalue of this matrix. This is a critical exponent. So in my notation, so positive critical exponent is relevant, and the negative one is irrelevant. So please, uh, please uh, be careful. Because in my, our notation, it, we put the minus, minus sign in this definition. OK. So we have many, many earlier studies. And so for, for the pair of gravity, uh, we have uh, many truncations for FR type or uh, this uh, higher derivative gravity. So these uh, studies show that a uh, number of relevant operator is stably three. Okay, which means uh, at a free parameter is only three. So once you set the three, or, uh, we set the three parameters, so we can predict uh, the low energy physics. Also, uh, so there are many systems with uh, matters. 
So example for, uh, we studied the stability of fixed point or a scalar gravity system, Higgs Gauss system, gravitational, uh, sorry, a gauge field system and Fermi system. Now we, we showed some references. Uh, unfortunately, I could not uh, list up the, all, all, all references. Also, it's important uh, aspect of uh, asymptotic safe gravity is a prediction of the Higgs mass. Uh, before discovery of the Higgs boson, uh, actually it's uh, Mikhail Shapochikov and Kristoff uh, showed that uh, Higgs mass become uh, 125 GB. Uh, this study is encourage the asymptotic safe gravity scenario. Okay, now here I mentioned hierarchy program for the uh, cosmological constant, cost constant. Now, cost cosmological constant become, become very quite small. So, which means uh, why is a cosmological constant small? Or, uh, as, as a uh, same meaning, as a, why is the universe critical? This is a very famous <laughs> phase diagram of quantum gravity. Uh, obtained by the Frank, and uh, anyway, it's, a, it's a, uh, some Newton constant, dimensionless const Newton constant, and the dimensionless uh, co cosmological constant. Now, anyway, in order to obtain the small, very small cosmological constant, we have to put the bare parameter near to the uh, near to uh, the phase boundary. It's the same as the Higgs. Higgs boson mass. So, uh, anyway, I want to emphasize that hierarchy program is a criticality program. Therefore, why Higgs mass and the uh, cosmological constant close to the critical line? This is a question, open question. Okay, next, I, I'd like to go to my study, uh, Higgs Yuka model, uh, nominal coupled to the gravity. Now, we consider this simple truncated effective action. Um, this action is a, a simple toy model of standard model and also toy model of Higgs inflation. Uh, I mention it later. Now, we have uh, potential and uh, this non-minimal potential and we have also Yukawa interaction. Now, um, potential uh, can be expanded into the polynomial of uh, phi square. Now, lowest part is a uh, uh, cosmological constant, and next is a uh, mass square and the uh, quadratic coupling, and continued. Also, we have we can expand f into the polynomial of phi square. So, lowest part correspond to uh, so-called um, Planck mass or uh, inverse uh, Newton constant, and next part is a non-minimal coupling because as phi square R term. Okay, now let's analyze this model. Uh, now I, I show the setup. Now we use the background field method. Uh, we use a simple linear split. And as a background field, I use a, a Zogita metric. And also we use a dead on the gauge or lambda gauge. And cutoff function is used, uh, and lithium cutoff is used. Namely, uh, we use this form cutoff function. But be careful, for fermion, we have to use this, this type cutoff uh, in order to get the correct sign in the beta function, uh, which is uh, indicated by the low belt. So please see this paper. Okay. In this setup, I calculated this, uh, this system. Okay, before that, I reviewed uh, so without fermion case, uh, which is a scalar gravity system. Uh, this system is analyzed by the Robert uh, and the Narayan, uh, other, other, pop, other scientists. So now we considered five dimensional theory space Namely, it's a um, Planck mass square and the cosmological constant and the mass square, scalar mass square and the non-minimal coupling and the quality coupling. So 
we can find the Gaussian matter fixed point. That is, as we have a non-trivial fixed point in the gravity sector, but the matter sector is vanishing. So we can calculate a critical exponent around this fixed point, so we get a critical exponent. And the result is uh, as follows. Um, Planck mass and the cosmological constant is positive, positive critical exponent. And also, mass square and uh, nominal coupling also positive. Therefore, this coupling is relevant. So this coupling is free parameter. But on the other, on the other hand, uh, lambda is become the irrelevant. So lambda should be generated by the decoupling in the low energy physics. OK, next we consider with a frame fermion, one fermion case. It's a Higgs, you call it Higgs system. So now we consider the six dimensional theory space. Uh, we include also Yukawa, um, Yukawa coupling. So we also found the Gaussian matter fixed point. And so we obtained this uh, fixed point. But be, um, please notice that uh, fixed point value of uh, gravity become, the, become, become a small. And we can calculate also a critical exponent. So we obtain the critical exponent here. So uh, Planck mass and the cosmological constant are still positive. They are relevant. But now mass square and non coupling become negative. Therefore, this coupling become irrelevant, not free parameter. And also lambda and y, Yukawa, become irrelevant. So our result is uh, Fermionic effect makes um, mass square and uh, nominal coupling irrelevant. Therefore, these coupling are not free parameters. Now, in this truncation, and uh, sorry, in this truncation, uh, in uh, sorry, <laughs> go go go. Okay, okay. Anyway, in this truncation and two couplings is uh, relevant. So this coupling determines the low energy physics. And uh, M square and uh, non coupling, lambda, are generated by the, this, this coupling. OK. Now you already know the answer. <laughs> uh, so is criticality of mass square solved? Because, uh, because mass parameters are already irrelevant. Therefore, you may, you may think uh, uh, hierarchy problem of mass square uh, is solved. But answer is no. Because, OK, now consider some RG flow. Uh, this is a RG flow of mass square. And green line, green, green colors, couplings is a, a relevant, relevant coupling. Therefore, in UV scale, we have only this coupling. And therefore, a mass square should be generated by the, this coupling. And mass, so RG flow become like this. And U, uh, UV, UV scale, in UV scale, mass square becomes vanish, vanishing. But uh, by the fluctuation of, of the quantum uh, gravitational effect, so mass, mass parameter is generated. And therefore, at some scale, for example, at some Planck scale, so Higgs mass already have a finite mass. So therefore, once uh, mass square is generated, uh, mass grow up due to the canonical scaling this time. Uh, therefore, we have to fine tune uh, the, this coupling. But important things is as follow. Um, now, Higgs is controlled by the gravitational eff effect. But why they are located at a critical place? So if he mistakes something, uh, Higgs must go, go another world. 
but they, they are located very close to the critical press, located at the critical press. This, so therefore, it's a still a hierarchy problem. But important as, uh, things is uh, criticality of Higgs mass and uh, criticality of the universe is uh, unified. Because once we decide, we determine that this coupling, uh, mass, uh, Higgs mass should be generated. Okay, so we have to find we have to fine tune this parameter as a small, small cosmological constant and a small Higgs mass in low energy physics. Okay, finally, uh, I would like to comment on the irrelevant non-minimal coupling. So our results show that non-minimal coupling becomes also irrelevant. So non-minimal coupling plays a crucial role in the Higgs inflation. So I, I have a brief review on the Higgs inflation. Uh, Higgs inflation can be explained by Planck observation. Uh, this is a result. It's a blue line, blue, blue region is a observation data of a Planck. And uh, Higgs inflation data, uh, result uh, put, put here. So actually, uh, Higgs inflation is very good model of inflation. And Higgs inflation model uh, is given by this action. And this term is a so-called non-minimal coupling because Higgs square and R square. And so we have, now we consider a very simple action. But this action uh, can be changed to, come to Einstein flame to Jordan flame. This action say, called Jordan flame. So using conformal transformation, uh, namely, it's, uh, this factor is absorbed into the uh, metric, and we define a new metric. And then potential becomes this form. So I plot here and, and potential. So we have a plateau around the large, uh, large field body. And then, using this plateau, uh, we can explain the Higgs inflation, uh, inflation. Okay, but to explain the experimental data, we need a large, large, very large nominal coupling. And original paper of the Bezrukov and Shafnikov uh, show that. So we have to put the nominal coupling as a ten to five. But listen. A uh, recent study showed that we can reduce to 10, but still it's very large. So can we explain this, uh, this uh, result in, within our result? So, okay, now I show that, show that uh, some algae flow, algae equation of the nominal coupling. Um, as, as, as can you say, I can see that. Now it's a blue, uh, green, Green one is a relevant coupling. Um, actually, it's a nominal coupling generated by the uh, gravitational effect, but we have a very large separation factor around here. Therefore, uh, nominal coupling basically cannot be large. And because in nominal coupling case, <coughs> its cap canonical dimension is zero. Therefore, and it does not, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> yes. <coughs> yeah, anyway, a canonical dimension is zero, so uh, it does not grow up, uh, grow up in low energy, low energy region. <coughs> Therefore, we cannot explain the, this large uh, nominal coupling in our model. Okay, okay. Let's summarize my talk. Okay, Higgs problem, uh, hierarchy problem is a critical problem. So now, as you, as you know, that asymptotic safe gravity is a candidate of quantum gravity. So uh, we consider a, a hierarchy problem in, within the asymptotic safe gravity. So now I, I especially uh, analyze the higgs yuka model. So I will show that uh, mass square and the nonlinear coupling become irrelevant. 
uh, which indicates that unification of uh, hierarchy program is occur. Uh, occur. But uh, how to fine tune the relevant operators? But it's, it's a still open program. So I also I'll, I discuss a relationship to the Higgs inflation. Uh, in our result, uh, we cannot explain the large nominal coupling. Okay, I, I show the future work. So anyway, we have to extend the theory space because our present theory space is very small. So in standard model, we have uh, more fermions and gauge fields. So we have to include this field. And also, uh, I, 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 I would like to mention the Yuka coupling. Because an, in our results show that Yuka coupling also becomes irrelevant. But uh, Yuka coupling is uh, protected by the chiral symmetry. Which means that beta function of Yukawa uh, is proportional to Yukawa itself. So, if Yukawa put uh, Yukawa coupling put zero, so Yukawa coupling does not run. But it's uh, not consistent with uh, low energy physics. So, to to solve this problem, we have to consider some extension. So. Also, please, please refer to this, uh, this reference. So, uh, Astrid talks also, and Astrid and Aaron as young works. So, now I, I just calculate uh, this system, namely a Higgs Yukawa with a higher derivative gravity. Now it's in progress with my friends. Okay. Now, future big aims for me. So why do m square and the cosmological constant prefer the critical? This is a fine uh, hierarchy program. So to, to solve this problem, uh, we have to consider, so do we have a relationship that both m square and lambda constant become small? So if you have a such a relationship, can we guarantee it? So in, in this flow, so what is the relationship with the physical value in low energy physics? If you believe uh, some classical scale invariant scenario, so can we guarantee it uh, asymptotic safe gravity? This is my future aim, big aim. Okay, that's all, thank you. <laughs>